We are here in IPB World Congress, Disarm for a Climate of Peace, and together with co-author of the documentary Beyond Revenge that will uh, be placed here today, uh, Luz Jahnen. Luz, please, uh, can you explain us why the documentary about revenge in this historical moment? Oh, have a look around. If you are not just only concentrated maybe just to your personal life, if you have a look around in your country, in your continent, or even in the world, we see the phenomenon of a big acceleration and at the same time, and it has to do with it, a big acceleration of all kinds of conflicts, all kinds of conflicts. And um, we don't know how to solve these conflicts. So I think that every kind of contribution, like we understand also this film, who are trying to find answers, how we can find answers to our conflicts, they are very actual and very necessary. I see it like this. And why a person that has suffered a violence or an offense should reconcile? Um, maybe you can share with me, just by the experience of life what we have, that when we suffered big conflicts in our life, that um, the memory and the aches, what they produce to us, and, um, and the negative view also to the future, takes us a lot of energy, vital energy, it takes us joy of life, takes us openness in, in communication and relations. So I think it is a big need to reconcile with our conflicts. Yes, yes. And how it's possible for such a person uh, to achieve the reconciliation? In this topic, and that is the topic of our film, there is, a, I think, a cultural error or misunderstanding, very ancient one, that if you ask people now what, they are, what is going on in their head when they listen to the word reconciliation, there is like the image of two people who have a conflict and they take themselves into the arms saying, let's be friends again, or let's reconcile. But if you go to the detail, what is going on in the process of reconciliation, and you will see that this is not enough. Just hugging the other person um, don't give you the ref a, re a needed reconciliation. Why? Because the aches, what I felt when you have done something very, very bad some years ago to me, they are in my memory, not in yours. Maybe I have a bad picture about you because you have done it me some years ago. But it is in my memory. So where is the place where I have to reconcile? It is inside of me. And this we see with Alvaro, Alvaro Oros, who is a friend and the regisseur of this documentary. What we see as a possible contribution for a new culture of reconciliation, to give the advice, uh, if you want to reconcile, look inside and try to heal your sufferings. And if afterwards we meet and I can give you a hug, it will come from my heart. And what about the justice? Because like today the justice, it's more like uh, institutionalized revenge uh, in the hand of the state. Uh, how you can imagine a justice in the future? Yes, there is a um, quite confused practice and image of the justice in our state. That's true. And sometimes it still has, it gives me the impression that it is a mask of, of revenge, of vengeance. And it, I think it is a, a real big topic, and I think it's a field with what should be discussed for the future. Um, there is a big need to think between people, maybe between specialists, uh, how we would like a system of justice what is not a vengeance. I, with my little experience and knowledge, I would say that a justice, what is real a justice, should fulfill two functions, at least two functions. One is that someone who has suffered a violence and he's going to court, he's going to, to the justice, 
that he receive somehow this public recognition that it was really something bad what happened to him. So he feel the recognition of, let's say, the society which support him and saying, yes, you are right, what you felt and what you suffered was not good. Because then you don't feel anymore, uh, maybe it helps you a little bit to reconcile um, that you feel this impotence of the, in the moment when you suffered a kind of violence. That it would be one point. A second point, what I can say only simply and I cannot extend it too much, is that a, a real just justice should fulfill the f function that the so-called criminal, the one who has done the bad, don't repeat in future the same act. Because if not, it will, would be like a permanent fear that he repeated. But how to go in the details, how to do this in a good way, it's a big discussion and our interview would not be, <laughs> it's too short for that. Okay, thank you very much, Lutz. Welcome. Thank you, and we wish you all the best for the documentary that will be really a good start for the reconciliation in our society. Thank, thank you. you so much.